Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Curly Hair and Daisies. Today I've got quite an exciting video because I'm going to be showing you what I'm using for December Daily 2020 or Document December, whichever way you want to call it. This is what I'm going to be using. So this is a B6 Traveller's Notebook. It's a chic sparrow in their chocolate creme leather. And as you can see, it's a classic. I was given this by my parents for my 21st birthday, which I believe was in 2018. Um, and the last time I used it, I think, was for December Daily in 2018. So it's a good excuse to be using this traveler's notebook again. Over the past couple of years, I've used different sizes for my document December and um, looking back at them all, my favourite has definitely been using this size for that, so I'm glad to be back in it. There's plenty of room to write up things and also include photographs, so I'm going to show you how I've set it up. You may recognise this if you've watched my December Daily videos before because this is the kind of dashboard that I had last time I used it. And I've got this instant photograph here of some of my nutcrackers that I have. I really like Christmas nutcrackers and this is how I've decorated it. That is a um, magnetic bookmark. And this is the inside. I'm sorry about the glow. I've got a window by the side of me so that's why you've seen all this like reflection. Uh, this is a Mrs Brimble's postcard with one of her designs on it. Um, and actually, this is Mrs Brimble's Christmas paper as well, scrapbook paper here. And I really love this here, it's so sweet. And I love that as well, deck the halls with Christmas sweaters. Um, so that's really just for decorational purposes. And then I've got a little elf paper clip up here. I'm not sure where that's from. I think it might be Cherry Blossom in the Market Square. And so this is my notebook journal that I have made for this year. And this is another paper clip. I just recently got this one. And um, I think it's one of my new favourites. Stressed, blessed and Christmas obsessed. Which is funny and relevant. I'll show you some close-ups on how I've decorated it. This is a really sweet um, paper tag from Hobbycraft. It came in a pack of a couple of different ones. And it's sort of a vintage style Christmas tag with a sweet bunny on it. And I've got a um, postage stamp there with a Christmas tree. And this is how I've decorated the bottom. And as you can see from the side there, I have um, stapled some tags onto the side which I really really like it just adds some more texture and adds uh, more colour and I just think it looks really fun so if I open this up this is the first pages that you see um, I've just done I've not really done much to it actually uh, so far I'm kind of keep it uh, as plain as possible until we get closer to December where I will add more things to it but yeah I've used different scrapbook papers inside uh, this again is Mrs Brimble's. Everything on this page is all Mrs Brimble's. Really sweet designs. Her Christmas stuff is my favourite. And I've used just plain pages. It's just Hobbycraft paper there. A premium paper pack it is. And here's some more pretty scrapbook paper. I can't remember what brand this is. I think it's, is it Dovecraft? Dovecraft, I'm not too sure. I got it from The Works though, uh, which is a shop in the UK that sells books and stationery and crafty stuff. Um, and it's a 12 by 12 paper pack and it's got really, really lovely designs. And it's double sided. And this is very pretty as well. And another uh, Cherry Blossom in the Market Square paper clip. That one's a sweet little polar bear. Another paper clip. This one I got from a Lyra and Co. Um, set that I got. It was a Lyra and Co. Christmas Travelers notebook that came with stickers and paper clips and things like that, which is also where I got this one from as well. So yeah, that is basically the insides so far. 
I'm so excited to start using this up. I always start December daily, um, well before December. I basically write about um, when I've eaten my first mince pie of the year, which uh, the mince pies in the UK are already out in Morrison's supermarkets. So I definitely need to get my hands on some of those. So um, yeah, I kind of start off my December daily journal by writing about um, my first mince pie, um, my first maybe like Costa um, hot chocolate. My favourite is the ginger gingerbread man one that they do every year and they've just brought those out as well already. So I will write like um, sort of document that and uh, yeah. Also what Christmas films because I have already obviously started watching Christmas films. Um, if you haven't seen on Netflix, it's a new one. Well, I think it came out last year called uh, Klaus. I highly recommend it. It is really good. Um, it's sort of a Christmas film, sort of not. Um, but yeah, definitely watch that if you haven't. And that is my sweet and simple setup. Oh, I just realised I forgot to show you this, which I haven't done much to. It's just a B6 zipper wallet. Um, and I've put a Christmas Hodor postcard there put some christmas scrapbook papers there and they're just like photographs and that's a little notebook in the back there so that is my setup i am very much looking forward to starting to fill this up um i always say you know if if you've had a crappy year at least you've always got christmas to look forward to at the end of it and we all know how bizarre awful and everything else strange 2020 has been for everyone i am so excited for christmas i'm just really looking forward to it as always enough rambling on i will finish the video by saying thanks so much for watching guys bye